check us out on Patreon, guys, where we give you our exclusive access to all of our videos, 186 videos and counting. We just updated it. That's why I know how much, how many videos is on there. Bangers, too, though. Bangers. <laughs> you know, nothing too shabby. I mean, I don't know, like a Led Zeppelin marathon. We got Metallica on there, some yep. negative stuff. You know, I'm just saying. Just throwing that out there, man. So if you're interested, definitely check that out, guys. The link for that will be in the uh, description. What's up, guys? Your boys are back. I'm Ryan, my man, George. What's shaking, guys? How y'all living out there, man? Shout out to the free thinkers, of course. Of All course. right, man. So we, uh, we're getting to two great things here, man, today, right? We're getting back to a Metallica song, and we're getting back to Chris Stapleton, who's singing. With one stone. There you go. Nothing else matters, right? Yeah. And we haven't heard that song. At least I don't think I've heard that Metallica song, Nothing Else Matters. But I guess um, they did like a compilation album the of blacklist a whole blacklist right we just, of, look, we just looking it up of all these different artists right thank you for all the people that are in our dms man that give us gives us uh, sort of the rundown on stuff because we would be lost we would have went into this and reacted to this without thinking that, that this was a freaking chris stapleton new song yeah because nothing we, else matters yeah <laughs> now before i get into this whole the blacklist and what metallica's done and all that i do have a confessional i have heard Nothing else matters. Um, the Miley Cyrus version, you know what I'm saying? So Is that I, on here? That's on here, right? It's on the blacklist. Okay, okay. So I did hear. I actually heard that. You know what I mean? I was online and I just saw it, and I was like, okay. And I didn't even know initially that that was because I hadn't heard the song "Nothing Else Matters" from Metallica, even though we've done Metallica reactions. So I heard the Miley Cyrus version, and it looks like it's with. Uh, it's like 53 yeah, it's different 50, artists, 53 right? 53 different artists, you know, you know, like, you know, it's somewhere on here though. But I heard the Miley Cyrus version, whatever. Who are, I think Elton John was on that with her as well, and a few other people. Okay. Um. So yeah. So I, I know how the song goes a little bit, but I don't know if her version is a far cry from Metallica's version in terms of instrumentation and things. I don't. I don't know. So there's. I have a little bit of experience just to give you guys a heads up. One album, 12 songs, 53 artists, unlimited possibilities. The Metallica Blacklist celebrates the enduring influence of Metallica with an unprecedented 50-plus artist uh, spanning an unbelievably vast range of genres, generations, cultures, continents, and more, yeah, each contributing a unique interpretation of their favorite black album cut. That's dope, man. I like that. That's dope because that and the artist is vast here, right? From Miley Cyrus to Flatbush Zombies, which is a hip-hop group. You know, which is awesome to see, right? I think Jason, um, Jason Isbell, Isbell, I think yep. he's on there too. Yep. Americana, which is, yeah. yeah. So, dude, that's beautiful, man, to see some, some a band that has touched so many different people in so many different ways and so many different cultures, so many different continents, man. Yeah, geography, geography. Think about that reach. That's amazing. That's crazy. Legendary, folk. man. Yeah, it is. It is, man. So uh, we're excited, man. Let's get into it though. Um, uh, Chris Stapleton covering Metallica's uh, "Nothing Else Matters." It could. He could just do a little side metal project if he wanted to. I'm sure he, he would destroy it. You know what I'm saying? 
But yeah, yeah, sounds sounds good so far. To me. It does, man. It does. And I don't know if you guys could hear me over the music. I was asking George. I wonder if there was any um, um, like country influence in the musicianship because I wasn't hearing a lot of metal, you know, as far as the the chords and the way the guitar chords sound. So, but when we got to the chorus there, I kind of heard the uh, the intensity of those riffs kind of pick up, and I was like, okay, yeah, that sounds a little bit more metal. Yep. So I'm wondering if the original to uh, this song is subdued like this, you know, just like mm -hmm. um, the, 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 the groove is the way that Chris Stapleton is uh, bringing this to life. I wonder if the original is like this as well. Yeah. Or if this is his interpretation of Metallica's Nothing Else Matters. Yeah. So. Is, is this a more of a more of a slow down track from Metallica or is it, um, you know, because I, I can't even really use the the Miley Cyrus version that I heard with El John. Did that I, sound I like this or? No, nah, that sounded different than this. Yeah? Okay. It sounded a little bit more. Um, it, it, again, I heard it and it was really quick. I mean, it was like sort of almost almost in passing, but I did okay. kind of listen to it a little bit. Um, but it didn't sound like this. This sounds like a very, very slowed slow down country rendition rendition of that yeah. version. Oh, but I don't okay. know how, okay. how much that version sounded like Metallica's <laughs> version. So, right. I, you know. But I do like the way it sounds. Yeah, regardless. yeah. He's How you want to classify Dude, it. Chris Stapleton, man. He just sang, man. Yeah. He just sang. So I love if this is his interpretation. He's doing a great job. He's yeah. singing it like it's his song, in my opinion. The chords are dirty, though. Yeah. Man. The attitude in them chords. The bum, bam, 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 bam. Anyways, all right, let's get back to it. This is the these lyrics together to kind of get a feel for what what where they were trying to go when Metallica wrote this what were they mm -hmm. trying to say um open myself up you know never open myself up this way and then never caring about what they do or what they know you know what I'm saying so it just seems like you're you're open you're, you're, you don't care about judgment you're, you're going your own mm -hmm. way you're, you're forging your own path without worrying about what people think or say about you mm -hmm. none of that matters is how I'm taking a song I could be wrong 
you know, could be though. I mean, I like that take. I like that's how I'm taking it. I just think they're talking about someone that they're um, that 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 they're very close to. You know, I mean, no matter so close, no matter how far, you know. Uh, couldn't be much more from the heart, you know, meaning I'm giving my all into mm-hmm. this person or whatever the case may be. Could be, yeah. Like I've never opened up myself in this way to no one else, maybe, you know, but yeah. I don't know. All right, man, let's go ahead and get, uh, keep it going. Couldn't be much more from the heart. Oh, I trust in who we are. And nothing else matters. Cool though. I, I, I'm just very interested to see how Metallica's version sounds. You know? So this is Metallica's. In their version of this, I'm sure this is when they turn it up. <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, the ending of that song, the last little guitar solo there, man, destroyed it, man. I don't know if that was Chris playing it. I I would assume it was, oh, but yeah. if whoever was playing it destroyed that and turned this shit into like a blues song, it, it just seemed like it was bluesy, jazzy. Blues for sure. The yeah. way it came yeah. out and the way the way they went out, like I felt like if I was at a venue, listen to listening to this, I would have been. It, it, I would have assumed that this would have been like a jazz type of song. So it's interesting to, to 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 hear his version of this. I'm interested to see what Metallica's version would sound like. Yeah. But um I like this though a lot, guys. So not with not hearing Metallica's version, taking that off the off the table and just this being a tribute to Metallica, right? And their reach and their influence and Chris Stapleton's version of this man, I think he destroyed that part of it. Now I will say that nothing else matters, the core, the chorus to this song. I can imagine the way Metallica would be singing that. Never care for what they do. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think that that would be like, that sounds totally like the way Metallica would sing that. You know how they get in that day. Ooh. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like uh, it would be. That shit sounded too- flimmy, my G. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I feel what you're saying. Yeah, man. yeah, you, you know where, where I'm, I'm trying, know what where I'm going. trying to to uh, imitate. But um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm I'm very interested to, to hear Metallica's version of it, though, man. But yeah. but dude, uh, at this point, with all the Chris Stapleton songs that we've heard, yeah. I don't think it's a surprise that we like it. You know, now I I don't know because I haven't heard of all I haven't heard all of uh, Chris Stapleton's song throughout you know his entire discography. Um, but the songs that I have heard, which has been a lot now. I've liked them all. Even if it's not something that I love, I still like it. So at this point, guys, it's pretty much a slam dunk for me anyway yeah. when, when it comes to Chris Stapleton. So. Yeah, the cat's out the bag with Chris Stapleton, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The, the guy's incredible. That's the bottom line. It's so much so. I mean, again, this this may be, if we're talking about people that, we, um, that really made such a huge impact on our channel and how many people that we turned on to him and how many people he turned on to us, it's just been such a crazy symbiotic type of, yeah. you know what I'm saying, relationship. That's true. You know what I mean? He, he, Chris Stapleton, when you think of Lost in Vegas, he's one of those guys you think of yep. for this channel. So, I mean, not to say that we're done with Chris Stapleton, because it sounds like, yeah, this is a wrap. Oh, no, no, we, no, we no, 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 no. <laughs> react to Chris Stapleton, but, but I do feel like it's a feeling like, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I wish that we could say something else besides the shit is hot, but it's just, he's just great <laughs> <laughs> at what he does, man. I will say, though, this song was a little long for me. This song was, uh, I yeah, thought, I, man, I you chopped that. this down to about a good, you know, for me, you know, four minutes, you know what I mean? Maybe shorten the solo. I thought the solo was really good. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. Shorten it to about four minutes and, you know, maybe some change and that's playlist. It's a, it's a great song. It's gritty. It's, it's, it's got a sort of, um, I don't know, maybe a, a, a darkness to it, but, but somewhat uh, inspirational mm-hmm. in a way. Yep. Um, you know, kind of that. has that, you know, has a somberness to it, but an inspirational thing. Like, you know, I, you, I used to give a fuck about what people thought and I lived my life. I was a slave to <laughs> what people thought of me and, yep. and I had to operate in this particular capacity. But then I realized like, none of that shit matters, man. That's how, I'm, yeah. how it makes me feel. Mm-hmm. None of that matters. Um, I'm going to do what I do. I don't care what they do. Or what they think of that I do, mm-hmm. you know, and um, that's what this this gave me. And I thought he encompassed that really yeah. well. And even the the visual that we have here, just you know, just to give you a heads up, this, this darker visual. Um, they they had of like the desert mountain ranges and mm-hmm. the raindrops and everything. I think really makes me think that as well. And there's a reason why. Yeah. Um, they use these visuals here, so I think it's great, man. Um, yeah, just a little, little long for me though, but doesn't mean that it wasn't stellar. One thing that I wanted to mention, man, is that this is really cool. As as we were um, listening to the song, I read this. It said all profits from every track on the Metallica blacklist will benefit Metallica's charitable foundation, all within my hands, along with the charity uh, of each artist's choice. So that's really really dope. That's man. cool. That That's is cool. going to a good cause, man. So salute to all these artists on there, man. They got, you know, they even got Jay Balvin. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, <laughs> the dude that does the uh, reggae tone or the rap. I don't know what he does, man. But Latin Latin music, shout out to him. They all ha- are, are mm-hmm. really contributing to some really cool causes, man. So definitely mm-hmm. for that reason alone, I mean, I'm going to rock it and check it out. You know what I mean? To make sure I support in my own way, man. And salute to Metallica, man. Like Ryan said, for having the reach that they have. Dude, that's dope. Being the legends that they have. I all love these that. people getting involved. I'm sure that all these people were legitimately fans of Metallica, man. Mm-hmm. And give us uh, some feedback, man. I mean, you know, on, on who's, you know, you know, keep it real. I mean, it's all for a good cause, but who really killed it, though? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Outside of Chris Stapleton. Who really killed it? Who, you know, give us some feedback on what other you options you may, you, you, you yeah. may want, to, want us to, um, to check out on this album as well. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed that, please hit the like button. If you have subscribed, please subscribe. And also, guys, check out our Patreon channel. If you're interested, it will allow you to get exclusive access to our content. The link for that will be in the description. I'm George. That's Ryan, Las Vegas. We out. We out.